nine at this. about to tear the roof off. Tip-off goes to Charlotte, and there has, Greg, been some talk within the league about adding a mid-season tournament. What are your thoughts on that possibility? I mean, with the success of the play-in tournament, which, in full disclosure, I was not for, but love now, I can see why they're considering it. Well, you can see how dialed in Gordon Hayward can be. When he's on his game, the vision is exceptional. Plumlee against Nurkic. He can't get that one. Lumley with some nice D. And it's the Hornets ball. It's a three-point game. Ball, the pass to D. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Six points for D. I'll tell you, the vision is simply special. LaMelo Ball toys with the defense, creates easy opportunities for his teammates. He takes it in. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And once he got to the 10, I did not show. Charlotte's gone 2 of 2 from three point range here in the first quarter. Launches a three, and it's the Hornets another three. And from three-point range, guys, he has hit the ground running. What a first quarter. And Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trailblazers. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. You've got to stand in and deliver from the free throw line, even in a tough environment, and they failed to do so. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And continuing to press their advantage. They're not taking their foot off the gas. Boy, having a hard time making shots. Just one for four to start this game. Drills it from outside. Three and 12 points for D. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. And, and we see Portland revamping on the fly. A, a lot of changes. But it's not a rebuild. This new look roster hoping to keep the Blazers relevant while also giving them a greater upside long term. The shot's good. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. And the first time.
If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's Simons. Last game with 30 points. Will it go? Trailblazers keep it alive. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. First, first Definitely first a foul. Terrific call. At the line for your Trailblazers. You're set. Taking two shots. Their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Greg, you take a look at Nurkic. He is at his best going against big-name centers. Nurkic is the kind of player who rises to a challenge, can be a bit inconsistent in what he gives you, but he loves the challenge of going up against the best. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. I was able to talk with Chauncey Billups for a minute. I asked him about the challenge of playing against a team that's so smart and under control on offense, and he said they really do a terrific job of execution. No miscues or missteps. We need to be just as disciplined if we're going to get the upper hand. And since they're down one to nothing in the season series, they'll have to do that really well tonight. Thank you, David. Could be a tall task. Trying to prevent Greg, those shooters, from getting high. It's going to take attention to detail on the defensive end. Contest everything. What we're seeing now is defenders who now understand I can contest the shooting hand and still stay out of the shooter's landing area, which we know now is a foul. Winslow is setting the pick for Simon. Shot to stop the run. The Hornets pull it in. Plumley's got four rebounds in this game. Jacks up a three. And it's D missing. Trailblazers trail by 20. Simons with the ball. Now guarded by D. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. The pass to Washington. The kick out to Ball. Here's D. That three off the mark. Portland's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Knocked away. Humbly with a steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. And Ball slams it in. They had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a string. Jack. Portland, they're shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. They've got Yusuf Nurkic. Winslow is out there with Brown. Then it's Anthony Simons. And it's Sharp and at the two spot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Here's Rozier. Unable to get that one. Trailblazers trail by 13. Simons. Surveying the D. Pass to Norkic. Over Rozier. He doesn't hit that one. And the Hornets now going the other way. 22 is their biggest lead. Last time they met was in Charlotte. Yeah, and, and they won that matchup last time, and it really, it, it wasn't even close, guys. Yeah, I thought that had to do with getting the starters in foul trouble and then taking advantage of the substitutes, and that led to a huge disparity on the scoreboard. And 
they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. And that one's good. D. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. And it's Simon's missing. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Sinks the three-pointer. And they're getting their points now almost ex are from beyond the arc. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Ball counter, ball counter. Winslow against Oubre. Winslow shot is off. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. D. And again for three. For three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Now a timeout called by Porter. Offense has become a... the difference between winning and losing when it mattered most. Elite perimeter defense is always in demand. Here's Nurkic. 17 points for him last game against the Nuggets in Denver. One, two, three. Nurkic, a screen on Rozier. Sharp, the pass to Nurkic. And it's the Trail Blazers missing. Out to the right wing. Plumley, the pass to D. Drains it from beyond the arc. D's got 33. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Now here's Simons. He's covered closely. Pass to Winslow. Five on the clock. The feed now to Nurkic. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And that one's good. D3. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Now, here's Sharp. Rogier defending. Here's Sharp. He averages a bit over six points a game. Simons from outside. Good on the three-point shot. Simons has got five. And in nailing the three there, he puts a lid on what's been a huge run by Sharp. Break when you watch and Bernie Simons play, you can see the burst he has on the ball. And that goes for him attacking the rim and rising up for a shot. Impossible to stay in front of him with that quick first step. And with his skill and athleticism, boy, the sky's the limit. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, D in that last outing against the Lakers was tremendous. He scored an amazing number of points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll always remember. Kevin? Thanks for the report, D.A. Great phenomenal effort by him in that last game. He willed the team to victory through his talent and through that competitiveness. Let's give credit to his teammates for continuing to find this guy. They knew he had the hot hand, and they were willing to ride it all night long. Credit the defense right there. They have not allowed this guy to get going at all in this period. Pass to Ubre. Nurkic with the steal. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. Second personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Littles checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Look Knights checked in. Simons with the ball. Five points in the game. Let's go. Offensive rebound. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. 
D passes to Plumley. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Plumley's got his first two points of the night. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Back to Simons. Can they get it? And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Plumley's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Stolen by Winslow. To the inside. Nurkic can hit. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. D passes to Washington. And that one, good. A lot to like about the way they're playing right now, but still plenty of time left. You do like that the offense is humming along. They're putting in the effort to distance themselves. Here's Little. Off target from outside. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Simons, the pass to Sharp. But three. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got 11 rebounds in the game. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Trains the three-pointer. 48 points for D. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. On the wing, Winslow. Kicks it to Little. The pass to Simons. Portland again, missing. And offensively, they've gotten stuck on the perimeter, falling in love with the jump. And, yep, another basket. Three. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. Pass to Little, trying to end the drought. Book Knight with the rebound. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. D. And it's Portland with the rebound. Norkic has got four rebounds in this game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now here's Simon. Defense right on him. Fires the three. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets able to put on a show for the agents. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Back right after this. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first half performance it's been for the Charlotte Hornets. They feasted from three so far. Couldn't stretch the floor much more. I mean, it's put them firmly in control of this game. Gotta have that floor space. Open concept, indoor, outdoor living. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, I like that. And now let's focus on a couple of guys who have been getting it done in the first half. These guys are leading their way offensively. It's hard work doing all that scoring. Wouldn't you agree with that, Shaq? Uh, not for me, it wasn't. Piece of cake or barbecue chicken, whichever you prefer. Oh, both at the same time. I'm hungry. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. dive into the second half we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two so far it has been a runaway we're seeing tremendous gameplay from D and if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half he's going to be more than a handful what I love is they've continued to feed this guy ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it on the floor for Charlotte 
The big man on the floor. It's Washington and Plumlee. LaMelo Ball is out there with D. And it's Hayward in its small forward. Ball dishes the Plumley Pass to D. The three. Good! Another from three. He's really sniping him from outside. Locked in, feeling confident in that three-point shot. Passes it to Peyton. Back to Simons. Shoots over ball. Here's Nurkic. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. Yep, that's contact. Nice call, Red. First team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Yusuf, two shots. And both free throws good for Nurkic. You know, it took Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself as a starting center in the NBA, but it didn't take long to see it's a role he deserves. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. And half gets going. Ball against Simon. Nurkic a screen on ball. And here is Simon. He's got five. This one for three. The Hornets pull it in. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. And that one's good. D. For three. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Jorkic setting the pick for Simon. There's the pass to Little. Nurkic against Plumlee. Portland again missing. Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they've talked about at halftime, it's not working. And good, and he hits it again. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. Now, the Blazers missed the playoffs last season for the first time in almost a decade. Coach Phillips says, it's been a lot here so far, but I just know that I'm built for this. This is what I do, and it gives me the opportunity to stand up as a man to show that I can lead. Um, Connects again from distance. And, and all game long, the threes have been pouring in for him. There is no stopping his shot. And this is already a game he'll never forget. He's trying to make it a game that the world never forgets. And it's sent back by Plumley. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will retain possession. Jones checked in for the Hornets. Substitution on the court. Right around three minutes into the second half. Heaton. Hornets with the rebound. D's got his sixth rebound on the night. There's the triple. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Now Simons. He's got seven. Down low. Here's Eubank. And Jones sends it back. Here's D, and again for three. And what a fireworks display he's shown us tonight. Just keeps knocking him down from deep. Greg, he has just exploded from beyond the arc. That last make tying him for second in most threes in a game. And it's Simons missing. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Here's D. Good! Another from three. three. Splashes home another three, and he moves into second place all time with that make four games. 
Greg, you have to think that every time he releases the ball from deep, it's going to go in. He just keeps raining it down on him. And Simons wide open. He'll fight. Portland no good that time either. Hornets have gotten nearly everything to drop this quarter. They're 7 of 8 from the floor since halftime. Another one goes. Incredible. What a game. That's 72 points. He's been simply, Greg, sensational throughout this one. So many electric players in this NBA, Doris. But do you think LaMelo Ball is as exciting as any? He is at the top of the list, but that list is long. Think about a Ja Moran. Think about an Anthony Edwards. The league is in good hands for decades to come. Jack passes to deep. Let's it go with a three. Little with the rebound. Portland's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. And that one, good. Peyton's got his second basket of the night. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. Jack passes to D. Takes a 3. That shot, no good. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Here's Peyton, and he uses the glass on the way. Peyton's got seven points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pass to Deck. Here's D. Connects again from distance. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. Pass to Watford. Passes it to Eubanks. Sinks that one from the post. 153 left in the third. Now the pass to Deck. Here's D. And again for three. And of course it falls for him. That three pushes him into the history books. Well, he is not tied for the most threes in a game. This is a night we will never forget. Three-pointer Peyton. The rebound by D. D's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass the ball. Here's D, covered by Peyton. Good, another from three. Unbelievable. Gets the record with a beautiful three. A new single game record, GA, in a night that everyone will remember for the rest of their lives. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Walker's checked in for Portland. Sharp comes in for Inferni Simons. Charlotte also making some changes. Kelly Oubre comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Rogier in for Ball. Heaton inside. He has seven. Here's Eubanks. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. The Hornets shooting just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. Off target from three-point range. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for Portland. Pass to Watford. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Washington's checked in for Jones. There's 37 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Sharp. Off target with his three. Here's D, covered by Peyton. And good! There's another. The good times keep rolling. Now tied for second all-time in scoring for a game. Well, you know, the way he's been able to maintain his focus on offense all game, GA, the defense throws everything at him, but he still is scoring. Passes to D. Tries it from 19. Connects again. And he is ripping through this defense and continues his assault on the record books. That score moving him clearly into second place for most points in a game. And so is Charlotte holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And we'll be right back after this.
and there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Shooting for Charlotte. Get him, MP. Gordon Hayward. You're tied. Shooting one. Missing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. Free throw drops for Hayward. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And Bernie Simons out there with Brown. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Watford in at the three spot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Here's D, covered by Simons. Let's the free fly, and it's D missing. Portland's gone over and over to the three point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. Two minutes in the game. The right wing. Here's Nurkic. And Jones sends it back. Here's D, covered by Simons. And again, the Hornets missing. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Well, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. And the three off target. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Charlotte. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. First foul, number seven. Second personal foul. Half the line from the Trailblazers. This year's win total for them to 29. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for D. Well, unselfish basketball. His ability to create for others has been the story of this game. Now the dish to Nurkic. Back to Simons. It's rebounded by Charlotte. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And that one's good. D. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Plumley against Nurkic. Simons from outside. He can't get it to go. And the Hornets now going the other way. Here's D. Connects again from distance. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot it as much as possible. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Outside, Walker. Nurkic setting the pick for Walker. And the dunk by Walker. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well no 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 and they get the major league dunk out of it too and my question is where was the hell someone rotate over and challenge now here's simon and so it's the hornets taking care of business in this one this one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.